Can you hold that? Oh, you won't have to hold it when I do the cutting. Okay. No, and and there's, your, uh, there's your scion wood. And we're going to put the scion on this side. Can you see the blade? That's what you need to be able to see. That's what's special is that blade he had designed. And I can get extra blades, but I haven't had guts enough to ask him how much they cost. <laughs> But wouldn't you want to have an extra blade on hand? Yes, I am going to have to get more blades. And they are, supposedly they're going to have different kinds. And so you can see that just does the perfect angle. Because you can't really do that curve by hand as well. And so then you go and you do your cleft graph. No, I don't like this wood. It makes me want to slip. And then you slide that in, make sure that one side lines up perfectly, the cambium. And then you get it all the way down there and you can see there's no gap like you would have if you did that by hand. If you try to do one by hand, you'll end up with a cap there. I can show you that. Yeah. Have, any, have any of you guys used the, the other ones that you see that kind of look like an arrow? The Omega? Yeah. yeah, the hand. They yeah, suck. I have. They, they don't work. Well, they're only good for a certain thing diameter okay so that's how that's how I usually do a club yeah, yeah. you see I don't have that nice thing so let's see what happens when I stick it in but you can see there's a gap down there mm -hmm. and that's what that's why you don't get as much success with this you're going to get better success so what I'm going to do is bring this to the spring meetings so that not only to have a grafting demo, I'm going to bring seedlings so people can oh, do nice. some grafting. Yeah. That would be awesome. Bring some Simcoe and Northern Hardy Pine. Oh. Unfortunately.